what's up you guys, it's Josiah. This is a quick video on the chromatic scale, what it is, why it's beneficial. Alright, it's going to be a very fast video, this one, uh, if you're watching this and you're not on Patreon, you guys won't have the PDF that goes along with this. Uh, the PDF just simply gives you a couple of different chromatic scales and where you can play them plus a blank fretboard and a completely a completed fretboard so you can kind of see okay here's how far we can go here's all the notes etc cetera, etc cetera. so we're gonna do that really quick um, a chromatic scale very simply put it is all the notes in order and all of them are just a simple half step apart so uh, now uh, uh, one of those scales if we're starting here on an A I could play it like this. I can move it all the way up here to the 12th fret and I can move anywhere else really. Um, now the benefit of knowing not just that but the relationship of all the notes on the fretboard via the chromatic scale is you can work work your way up to any interval. You can work your way up to any note. Figure out what's the distance to from you know one note to X. Uh, so in this case, if I'm trying to figure out what interval this is, this is uh, right here fifth fret from that A. This is fifth fret on sixth string, down the sixth fret on third. So if I'm here. And I want to find what that one is, I'm going to walk my way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, so it's sixteen half steps away. You want to subtract twelve if it's above twelve because that's going to bring you back down. Sixteen minus twelve is four. That makes this a major third interval. Four half steps is a major third. So, if we want to find all any interval, really, we just simply walk our way up to it from there, and that's how you will you can easily build chords. Um, now, that was one such way that I walked up that chromatic scale. Um, so, one of the ones that I have is here, starting on this A note, works our way up to here, and then we walk back. like that. We have another one, we start on an open E. And we walk up as high as we can just here on the open strings um, and uh, so on and so forth. You know there's a, a you know a hundred different ways to skin a cat, right? Uh, so you can create any version of a chromatic scale and that's what the blank templates are there for. The blank ones are there for you to create your own chromatic scales, write it out, do the examples so that you guys can really figure this out. Um, one of the other ones I have is it, it starts right here. you up that way. So that's three of them. There's a total of, uh, I don't I don't remember, I believe it was five, but uh, you guys will have a couple chromatic scales on there. The whole goal, again, know your fretboard and know how it relates. This is just another part of Guitar 101. If you know this, you guys are going to have a very solid foundation for any future stuff. That's why make sure you continue to study things like all the scales, study the intervals, study all of the, the fun chords that we get. That'll be the next video, by the way, we'll take this chord, we'll have a standard chord, you'll have the next one, you'll have the next one, and then the final one. They're all the same chord, it's just three versions of the same one, and what I do is I explain to you how they're all moving in that case. It's pretty cool. So, from here, 
take that, play the chromatic scales that are in the tabs. If you haven't already subscribed to Patreon, make sure that you jump on there. This video is going to be in the second tier. So not just being a patron, you have to be in the second highest uh, in the second highest tier. That's uh, just a simple $10 a month. You guys have access to all of my beginner guitar. You have access to Guitar 101 and a couple, uh, just a few of some intermediate and advanced videos. Plus, you guys get PDF downloads, backing tracks, resources, all kinds of tools, and a fantastic keyword system that's going to make sure that you have access to every video you need. And the final part is you send me a video of your guitar playing, and I will personally give you video feedback. I may even upload one if it's a good enough question and it's a, a fantastic problem to solve. I will upload it directly onto Patreon for other people, with your permission, of course, for other people to see. So, thank you so much for all your support here on Patreon. For those of you who are supporting me, remember to send me videos of your guitar playing. I want to make sure I can coach you and train you to become better and better with every single passing day. I'll see you guys next time. Keep rocking.